In Parliament, the Housing Minister, Pator Fila, said that planned improvements at the Sunrise Motel are aimed at addressing concerns over its suitability for elderly and disabled residents, while also improving living conditions. The GSD's Trish Sanchez had criticised the deplorable living conditions at the hostel, highlighting overcrowding and the challenges faced by people with mobility issues. Pator Fila confirmed that relocations to the Sunrise Motel would proceed by the end of October, with some residents initially needing to share rooms, an issue the opposition said many were not happy with. The understanding is that they are not happy to share and they're not happy with moving the move because they are refusing to move. I don't understand. Can you clarify this? During further questioning by the GSD's Damon Bosino, the housing minister revealed that the planned extension at the rear of the Sunrise Motel will eventually house a men's halfway house. The halfway house for men was part of the accommodation centre which was originally planned for Europa Point. The intention is that this facility will be relocated to the Sunrise Motel as part of the new project. This will be built at the rear end of the Sunrise Motel. Damon Bosino expressed anger at the news. Can she please check her notes and provide us with the detail as to how many flats she must have that information available to her. It's not something that can be in the air. This is an extension behind a building which is existing in Devil's Star Road, which is a Sunrise Hotel. How can you compare that with what they promised in August 2023? It's got one thing, has got absolutely nothing to do with the other. I was quite calm this afternoon, but these things rile me for goodness sakes. When further questioned, the housing minister could not confirm the number of rooms that would be made available at the new extension at the Sunrise, limiting herself to say the plans were still at an early stage.